Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, hope you guys are all doing well. It has been a while since I recorded a video, but Clash Royale just dropped a small update and everyone is talking about it, so I am also going to be one of those people talking about this update. So, uh, before we get into any matches or gameplay, let's take a look at the news tab and see what exactly this update does offer. So it's the App Store update, October 23rd, which was yesterday as the time of recording this video. We're releasing a small update that features a few changes and sets us up for a bigger November season. And by the way, big thing there's going to be a new champion coming on november 6th so that is something you guys can look forward to or fear depending on how you feel about it uh some of the additions in this update bot practice we have added new ways for players to hone their skills and try their decks out against our patented royale bots which i think is really cool actually uh this is only available on trophy road without champion so uh, it's a bit restricted in its implementation right now but i think it's really cool they also did uh improve the training camp bots uh and it's going to be a better place to hone your skills and learn how to play your deck no matter what your skill level is so that's kind of nice you know training camp seems to actually be uh like good now i guess they've kind of upgraded it uh, i do really like this uh idea of bot practice though against decks i've always thought they could have had new mechanisms to practice training and i feel like you know this is just something nice that they did and i hope we can see more things like these you know more training modes more practice against certain types of pushes maybe even a sandbox mode at some point but that is nice other changes in the update improve in-game communication about uh, evos and elite wild cards through ui pop-ups remove the king level cap on trades of elite cards moved android external storage permissions and stop conversion of magic items to elite wild cards if the ewc inventory is full uh, we also have some bug fixes the biggest one here that stands out to me is uh the evolve firecracker that activates evo barb's anger because that was actually a big thing uh that i do recognize so that's the one that stands out to me the most and nice that they actually did change that unfortunately for them though guys in addition to bug fixes this update did introduce some bug introductions as well because there are actually some bugs that i'll be talking about and showing you guys today so first of all i have this deck here which was created by my friend sweep he is a really good player decent friend of mine and also a fellow content creator uh, so we have the goblin giant in here you know very broken card been broken for a very long time actually uh, we do also have the Ram Rider and the Clone, so I think I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about it until I show it to you guys. Uh, I won't be showing you guys this glitch on Top Ladder or Trophy Road, I think it's a bit unfair. So I'll just go into a classic 1v1 showdown for kind of a low stakes environment to showcase this, because there isn't really any like end of the world like game breaking things that'll happen if I show it in this mode. So I'll just go for a knight, uh, I don't know why my opponent's already giving the skeleton cry. Uh, good luck, yep, good luck to him as well. I don't know how, guys, it seems like they always seem to introduce, probably unintentionally, right, but they always seem to introduce some kind of weird situations with updates sometimes, but I, I bet it's, like, not intentional, right, but it's still kind of funny. I'll rage all of this up just to, you know, take the Lumberjack out. Ram Rider is going to get a connection on the tower and maybe one more. Nope, just one, but that is totally fine. I'm honestly, okay, I was going to say I'm going to ignore the Hunter, but I don't think I can anymore. I'll just mini P.E.K.K.A. for the RG. I think this should full counter for the most part. Um, one more hit, and then hopefully also counters the Hunter without dying. No, it dies, but I'll actually just still reset with a Goblin Giant at the back, and hopefully I can show you guys right now. I do have the Clone in Cycle, so let's see what he has for the Goblin Giant. He does have a Lumberjack in this deck. I think he also had a Knight, if I'm not mistaken. I'll Knight in front of my Goblin Giant, though, just to protect it a little more. And then I'll clone everything up in a second here. So Fisherman comes down. Yeah, let me just clone this right now, guys. And as you can see, what is this over here? There's some Spear Goblins. Okay, one of the Goblin Giants just dies straight up. Uh, I don't think that demonstrated the glitch that well. Uh, but there was some slightly strange behavior over there. But I will try and do it again. Uh, because it is a really crazy uh, glitch. There is actually some more evidence of this. Uh, posted on Twitter, and I will try and get that as well. I'm going to Ram Rider at the back. He might RG. Maybe not, though. Maybe just going to let this Ram Rider go. I can actually just Rage up th to kill those Skeletons and also get my Ram Rider Raged up. Uh, she's going to get Raged up right now. Evo RG comes out. Let me just Mini P.E.K.K.A. ASAP to start dealing with that. Ram Rider gets, like, one hit, and RG will get, like, one hit on the tower. Maybe zero? No, one, unfortunately, but that's fine. He has a WoW. Uh, so we're going to get, you know, maybe Mini P.E.K.K.A. will get some hits as well. Nope, Lumberjack comes down. So I'll Evo Knight, and then I think I can go Goblin Giant behind this as well. Yeah, I'll Goblin Giant down low, just so I can build up a bit of Elixir, and hopefully I can show it to you guys now. So I'll Ram Rider in addition to the Goblin Giant. Hunter's going to be pretty annoying, unfortunately, but let me actually just rage all of this up. And then let me clone everything, too. So we clone right here. As you guys can see, we have some Spear Goblins. What are those? Look at this. These are, like, 
invisible spear goblin heads like what is that do you guys see what i'm seeing right now what is what is this right here that is so crazy like and then they get hit and they turn into another spear goblin that is crazy so that's exactly what i wanted to show you guys there's actually more to this glitch as well by the way like the spear goblins are not the only thing i'm gonna mini mega minion to predict like an rg i'm just gonna go all in with another push right now so i'll go in wait what did he just pull by the way and then clone and do we get another one look at this guys what is this thing right here <laughs> that is so creepy as well there's a ram rider head just sitting on the map look at that right there you you guys see that too right it's like what is going on so that ram rider head is still there i think it's gonna get taken out as the match is over now uh no it's not it's actually just sitting right there on the map a little bit creepy but like what is that did you guys see what i saw that is absolutely insane so this is you know kind of a clone glitch going around um right now i'm not really sure why this is the case uh i got my clone mastery because of that but that was a good match to exemplify what exactly is going on as you guys can see it works with both the goblin giant and the ram rider where the goblin giant gets like these invisible spear goblins that are uh like just on the map and wreaking havoc the ram rider gets its own head clone for whatever reason like it just sits there on the map and acts as like a ram rider that snares things it's honestly a bit creepy just seeing a ram rider head like that at least if you ask me but that is kind of crazy so that is like the first example of this glitch that I wanted to show you guys. Alright guys, so this is the friend I was talking about, Sweep. As you guys can see, he's a pro Clash Royale player for Luminosity, a huge organization. And this is the tweet that he made. Uh, let me just make that a little bit softer. But the gist of it is, again, the Goblin Giant. So as you guys can see, Sweep has a Goblin Giant coming down. He has a clone ready, and let's take a look at what happens here. Does get the clone, and look at these Spear Goblin heads just chilling over there. They, d they don't get hit by the log, and they're just going to town on the tower. They are just, they take the entire tower, like, they pretty much single-handedly took that tower. Ram Rider's coming down to the left, and also gets the job done. Uh, the clip is still going, so does he get even more? I mean, the Spear Goblins are still going, like, even the opponent gives a wow. Like, look at these invisible Spear Goblins, guys, they are not getting hit. They finally get hit by the King Tower and spawn into even more Spears. Let's take a, take a look at that clip again, so, these Spear Goblins, they spawn after the cloning of the Goblin Giant, and they are, in fact, going to take pretty much that entire tower. I mean, the Goblin Giant does help out, but they're still going to town. They kill the entire knight, pretty much. You know, the Marcher comes down. Ram Rider's also going crazy. Uh, Marcher dies to the Arrow's Rage, and the opponent can't help but give the wow. So, there's a new CR bug, as you guys can see, and pretty much everyone in the comments is so confused. Even Boss, Hunter, like, lots of top players. So glad I uninstalled this game months ago. Fix this game, Supercell. Skill issue, obviously. And, yeah, pretty much... 243 likes kind of blew up we also got a quote tweet uh yeah just the goblin phantasma like it's like a, a phantom goblin i guess so you know that's the best clip to show how crazy this was my clip was pretty interesting and just a pretty low stakes game this looks like it's on top ladder and the opponent's getting absolutely terrorized by those spear goblins all right guys so in addition to what i have already shown you there's a little bit more that was introduced with this update that people aren't really talking about i'm letting this guy take my towers right now and showing you guys this so the king tower is activated and as you can see it is kind of jiggling or bouncing as it's getting attacked like this is a new mechanic or new visual i guess that was added as you guys can see it's kind of like bouncing all over the place that's a small little mechanic that i don't really think was talked about publicly by the team in the update but it's kind of cool i guess i mean it's a visual change i'm not too sure how to feel about it again i don't think it was announced anywhere in this update but uh yeah pretty much that is something that happened they have now made the king tower jiggly that is the best way i can describe it you know it bounces around as it gets attacked there are like more animations now to it which i guess makes it more fun and dynamic i'm not sure if people really asked for it or necessarily wanted it per se but uh, it is something in more update news we have this someone's had a glow up where uh, the Archer Queen, or not the Archer Queen, the Archers themselves, you know, there was a teaser of the Archer Evolution uh, a few days ago, I think it was like maybe last week, where they teased the picture of a foot, which, you know, is certainly something. Boss made a video on it, uh, lots of people, including myself, talked about it, and the next evolution is looking like an Archer, so we're only going to find out about that. I think when the new update drops in November, usually that's when they add new evolutions. I don't think they'll do it too early, at least I hope not, where they'll break the meta before the season's even over, but who knows. Uh, but that's one thing. And then lastly, in more news, we have Clash Royale available on PC, which I actually think is really cool. So uh, they have launched Clash Royale on Google Play Games for the PC. 
Supercell Games will be expanding from mobile gaming to PC gaming for the first time in history. Wow, so it is time to get excited about playing Royale. In a brand new way, there's, there's obviously a larger screen for a better immersive experience. Mouse and keyboard for improved control. Seamless sync between mobile and PC. Perfect for streaming. Uh, there's a frequently asked questions about this as well. Uh, so this was, you know, it only announced about a week ago as well. And officially launched, I believe, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I actually saw some people already playing this. You know, Lucas Sex Gamer, one of my good friends and another pro player. He went 20-1 and one in the global tournament, I believe, with this on PC. But he did say, you know, it hurt his wrist quite a lot having to play that much. I think this is absolutely huge for Clash of Clans more so than Clash Royale because I don't necessarily think that uh, this really helps with Clash Royale much. I mean, I'm sure people might figure out PC strategies, but I mean, I've always thought it's a game that benefits you to play on your phone where you have, you know, your fingers, you have fast reaction time and reflexes or responses. So I don't really see how PC is necessarily going to help you play Clash. I guess it's definitely good for streaming and for spectating people. You know, that's obviously a big benefit. But in terms of actually playing, I don't necessarily think this is going to be huge. Let's see some of the questions they answered. So you can get it on Google Play from your PC. It's exactly the same as mobile. Um, they are compatible, so you can you know, obviously have your progress synced between both of them. And obviously you can't play on the same account uh, on the, at the same time on both of them. It is only for Windows right now, so unfortunately it's not on Mac or Linux. But uh, we might see some support in the future. I'm not sure. This is obviously like some kind of partnership with Google Play. Uh, they say they want to provide our players with more ways to play our games and reach more players as well. Uh, no promises for other Supercell games such as Brawl Stars and Heyday so far. Uh, but pretty big stuff. Their dream is obviously to create games that as many people as possible to play. Mobile will be the key area for them, but they might be developing in other areas too. Uh, PC was built uh, by the own, by their very own Clash of Clans and Clash Royale teams, and the game is the same exact uh, version as on mobile. So the game teams will handle all live operations, you know, including both mobile and PC. So you know that is pretty much it for the news guys this is more of like a news type video by me than anything else uh so i hope you guys did enjoy it again i don't know how long this glitch is going to be in the game for but it's absolutely game breaking right now because goblin giant was already such a broken card and looks like it's going even crazier not only that but ram rider too ram rider honestly seems more funny than game breaking like just that head there it's enough to creep anyone out and maybe make them just disconnect just by sheer shock factor and horror at least for me you know it creeped me out the first time i saw it it was also kind of funny though but otherwise, you know, we have that. We have the Jiggling King Tower, and we have the announcement of a new champion. No confirmations on what it is yet, so room is there to speculate. But that's going to be about it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.